Just a slight tidy out this morning. Guys, three things to tell you. Room tidy. This room looks awesome from yesterday. I've packed something awesome in this bag. Let's go. Right, I arrived into the office. First off, got a few errands to do. Appreciate it, thank you very much. There we go, jobs completed. Back to the office. I'm back. So I'm happy today guys, the weather has toned down a little bit today. Still in my shorts and I've dared put the loafers back on. We're in the office, the heat is bearable. So when I was tidying out the server room yesterday, and we did all of the work and bits in there, I actually found, I actually found this. All we know is, it's called the Stig. Look at this beast. Oh wow. Hey guys, Smalls Bar Vlogs here. Asus actually sent this out to me. I don't even know what it's called. They sent it out to me for me to use at my setup at home, but I just didn't really get along with it because my computer's in the other room and I was having to trail this cable through walls and we are building an ROG setup up there, which is lacking a pair of headphones. As I say, ROG sent it out. What's it called? ROG. Oh my God, it's worth 228 pounds. What the scallop? Okay, yeah, this is definitely going in the setup. <laughs> Oh no, look at this, this, this is getting mean now. Just waiting on that monitor man, this is gonna be so cool. Just, I'm just literally waiting on that monitor, this is gonna be so cool. So guys, that is looking sweet, literally as I've said, we are just waiting, just waiting on the monitor. <laughs> So I just sort of want to brush up on something real quick after a tweet I got yesterday. And I tweeted out and I'm doing a Twitter only giveaway. Shouldn't really be saying this because now all you guys are going to flood over to my Twitter and like the tweet. I pretty much said I wanted to give away a OnePlus 5, a Google Pixel and an iPhone 7 Plus. Three phones. I collected whilst I was tidying out yesterday. A lot of people were really keen for me to give away the phones when I did the tweet. It's got like almost 3,000 favourites or something crazy. So Twitter users, thank you for being so active. Appreciate it. But I see a lot of comments saying, Alex, you're already doing a giveaway on YouTube. You're already gonna be doing a giveaway here. You're already doing a giveaway. And well, yeah, summer's the time for giveaways because summer's the time we're doing the live streaming room, right? For example, I'm doing the ROG setup. That is the computer that used to run the editing deck. But if you are the sort of person that does like giveaways, Make sure you follow me on all my social medias because I do secret ones on Snapchat and secret ones like the phone one that I've just told all you about. I get, I get questions all the time. Like, Alex, I want to do YouTube. I want to go into YouTube. What's the main thing I should focus on? It's the question I get on Twitter the most and it's probably the question I get about YouTube in real life when people say, what should I do? Or, or how do you do it? What is the most important thing? Let me tell you the most important thing. <laughs> And uh, no, the most important thing isn't a six inch sub from Subway. Legend. The most important thing is interaction. So I don't know if you've seen this as a common trend in, in my videos, right? You may have, you may not have, depending on how long you've been watching, but I've always, always try to, in every single video, include my audience in some way. That being you guys. I say guys a lot as well. And I've been thinking long and hard about this because I get this question a lot and I said it's more from people in real life as well as online. So like when I'm talking to somebody in real life, I have to give a really good answer. Because when you say something to somebody in real life, it means more. And my number one tip used to be, just do you and the rest will follow, right? Do what you enjoy. But I think coming up neck and neck with that is interaction. Interaction. So a massive thank you to whoever sent me a frozen mask. Thank you to whoever has sent me this massive Amazon box. And thank you to all of these people who in the last week have sent me something, well, a letter of, of some sort. Look at this, open on camera, inspiration inside. See this, that is what I love. Right guys, so I've just been doing a little bit of client work here. This is a net, this is like what a network looks like, someone's network that I'm configuring. As you can see, one of their devices has gone down, so I need to sort that out. But Jacob has just ran into my room. I'm trying to think what we can do, mate. We haven't been in your, in your gaming room for a while. Should we go and have a look at that? Yeah. Okay. So you said then that you had some ideas for this room, yeah. but... They weren't very they're good. They're not very good. What do you mean they're not very good, bro? Tell me, tell me one of them. Tell me the best one of your not very good ideas. But I want to do something so... It 
um, can get dirty because it gets dirty really. What do you mean by dirty? Do you mean like all the discs and stuff all over the floor? Yeah. If they're not in the right place, then they're going to get scratches on it. This FIFA disc down here, Jacob, that's upside down, where should that be? But the thing is, Jacob, your idea isn't boring. No, Jacob, you are, you're 100 percent right. It's not a boring idea. It may seem boring, but it's not. Keeping things in their place is what you need to do. This is what what, what happens when you don't put your discs back in the box. They get they get what? Scratch. Scratch. So he's, he's on it. He knows what he's doing. What about like a big tall thing we can put here? And what you can do is you can slot in these discs. And with, with the discs inside, oh, obviously. So it's like a, a bit like a bookshelf. Exactly. And they aren't all just scattered all over the floor. Like. Well, we could build another one of these, a little mini one, and put it there. And then you can stack all your games up on it like that. Then we'll need to get lots of the same things. Well, we'll have to go to home base and do it again, won't we? It keeps freezing my Xbox, though. Does it? What, that? Do you remember in a video we did a while ago, I asked the audience, I said, I'm going to get you a present for this room, yeah. and I asked the audience to tell me what it should be. What do you think the most requested item for me to buy you was? Hmm. It was an, X it was an Xbox One. Do you think you'd be allowed an Xbox One or not? So what do you think about that? Xbox One with a custom controller. Yeah. That's what you guys said. And luckily enough, it's what you want, isn't it? Right, all of you guys, you're going to have to tell me if you think Jacob deserves it. One thing I remember is you've been doing very good at your football recently. Mm -hmm. By the way, Jacob loves football. We've even got a tournament coming up on Wait, Saturday. Wait, tournament? I didn't know about that. I'm going to come and watch you if I'm free. Uh oh, guys, it's that time again. There we go, back in the gym. Well, I'm not in the gym yet, but... What I'm telling myself is good things don't come easy. If I'm wanting to look better, I need to be in that thing every single day. Instead of um, doing random shots of me seshing out, I'm just going to video this whole thing. Time lapse is only last half an hour on this camera, and I'm probably going to spend 50 minutes in here. But everybody asks what I do in the gym, so I'm just going to time lapse it. <laughs> I looked at my camera 20 minutes into that workout and um, it was turned off, it said the battery was dead so I have no idea when it actually died. I don't know how much of that you guys actually saw. Date night tonight, well not date night necessarily. It's one of my friend from school's birthdays and he also knows Maria, my girlfriend as well, we all went to the same school. It's his birthday tonight but Maria and I are going as a couple to it. Personally, I'm not a massive fan of going out and drinking. It's not something I really enjoy doing, but for occasions like birthdays and things when everybody else is going out, it's just nice to go out. I don't drink much and uh, I'm not going very far tonight. So what I do is I just take my credit card and all, the, all my cards out my wallet. So it's just my ID in here. And then all I do is I've got 35 pounds right here. I just put this in my wallet and then that's all I'm allowed to spend on the night out. Bear in mind, 17 pounds of that is my, is my taxi. I know everybody will be saying, oh, Alex, you've got Apple Pay. Yeah, well. Guys, today I'm going to end this video with this piece of fan mail, which I found really cute as well as really awesome. Unfortunately, his name's not on here, so I can't shout him out. But if you recognise this, then then this is yours. I was just really... The way the way easiest has been spelt and the way inspired has been spelt is just so... Just touches my heart. Anyway, guys, my name's been Alex. You guys have been awesome. I hope you've all had a brilliant day. Click here for yesterday's video, guys. Hit to subscribe, and I'll catch you in tomorrow's one. Adios.